<laughs> well, um, you know, I think uh, there are many ways that I would deal with criticism depending on my mood and state of mind. Uh, <laughs> ideally, um, I really, uh, you know, I love constructive criticism. I mean, I just soak it up. It's like really the only way to grow is to figure out everything that's not working and, you know, use it. So. Anytime anybody has anything constructive to say or anything that is, um, you know, even if they don't necessarily need it to be constructive, if I can spin it constructively, <laughs> then I'll take it. Um, but, you know, I'm not a saint, and there definitely has been, have, have been moments where, uh, you know, I don't quite react that way to criticism. But let's go with that answer for now. <laughs> um, was there a second half? Oh. How suggestions for overcoming adversity? Overcoming diversity. Adversity. 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 Well, I think you gotta really handle it like a ninja. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, the Taekwondo, kind of like, <laughs> instead of confronting it, you know, you just kind of like step, step aside and let it burn itself out. Like it's really a. Uh, you know, every moment you have a choice to, uh, of, of like, you know, how to perceive something, situation, and it's really only adversity if you let it be adversity, you know. Um, you know, me getting sick for two days in Houston could have been a really, like, I could have been really pissed off about that, like, that could have been an adverse situation, um, but I choose to look at it like it was a perfect thing to have me get to experience Houston in a new way, you know, that kind of thing. You know, that's kind of a, uh, um, uh, where it's kind of, you know, kind of a, a lighthearted situation, but I think is that that rationale can apply to pretty much anything. It's like, um, yeah, it's only the first thing you let it be. I guess it's not I like that answer. Cool. Okay, good answer. <laughs>